Okay, I'm doing something a little bit different today. I actually have a recovery to do. I have my friend Damien here with me. Somehow he rolled his F-250 onto its side off of the Greenbelt Trail. This is a dirt trail, so I'm taking my M-37 off-road wrecker out there and we'll see if we can get him unstuck. I do have Cassie following behind me with her Land Rover. My rollback is in the shop right now, so it's getting worked on and I couldn't bring it out to help. So at least we'll have the Land Rover with the winch in case I need uh, another anchor or to keep the truck from rolling back on its side. So how did this happen in the first place? So I, uh, I was going down the dirt trail and um, there was nowhere to turn around, so I just thought I'd back out. And I was backing out, doing good, and there's a tree that was sticking out in the road a little bit, so I decided I'd get off to the side of the road and try and dodge it. And uh, I went a little bit too far on the passenger side, and my rear wheel fell off, and I corrected it, spun us around, and off the road into the ditch. Well, here's the truck. It looks like this might be harder than I thought because we have a bunch of trees here that it's kind of wedged in between. So I think I'm going to try to pull it this way, see if I can get it on its wheels, and then we'll see if we can pull it back up on the road somehow. Pull it all the way to that front tire that's up in the air. getting easier so it might fall down at any point now. Is it in neutral? Okay. Well, that went relatively well. Okay, I was able to pull it back on its wheels and luckily we're facing up this direction and we are clear of the tree now because the truck did slide back a little bit. So I think I'll just reposition my truck, try to get off to the side over here and see if I can pull it up onto the road. This has the Ford twin beam front axle, so I'm just going to go over on the end of the axle there, see if we can pull this corner up first, get it away from the tree. Don't, do not try to start it. Just so I can pull a little lower, I have a shackle down there mounted to my pintle over to the truck. I think that will give me the best 
angle of getting it up here on the road. Can you put your window down? So turn the key just enough to unlock the steering wheel. Oh, she's off. Can you turn all the way to the left? Okay, put your foot on the brake and put it in neutral. Will it go ahead and let off? See if it moves at all. Okay. So just keep steering to the left if you can. Okay, straighten it out a little. Keep going that way if you can. Okay, put, put your foot on the brake and put it in park. All right. I'm gonna loosen you. Okay, I'm just gonna try to pull you up on here, so wait till I have slack on it. Okay. it but put, push your brakes right now and get it in neutral. Okay, is your parking brake off? Yep. So don't let off the brakes until I start to put some tension on it. We'll just pull you right up on the road there. All right, get your hood popped open so we can get it running. Why don't you check your oil, see if it's got any, how much leaked out of it. Ooh, it's barely on the stick. Yeah, it's not even on the stick. While he's pulling the spark plugs out, let's take a look at the damage. This is previous damage up here. You can see the door is now caved in. Mirror is below the door sill. Door is not going to open anymore. Running board fared pretty well. Just a little bit of damage back here. Broke out the light, obviously. But all things considered, I think this truck did pretty well. He's got six of the plugs out so far. This one in particular, just completely coated in oil. So we know at least one cylinder is pretty full of oil. There's another good one. I'm guessing the ones that are on the driver's side are going to be okay because all the oil would have run over here to the passenger side. What? Oh, stop. I got shot in the face with oil. Try it again. 
He got the spark plugs out, but the engine still won't turn over. So we're going to try to tow this out of here. All right, I'm going to get him pulled back to his house. He's only about a mile away. So if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.